In conventional poultry farms, poultry disease cases can occur in the complex. In a chicken flock often encountered several different diseases at the same chicken and at the same time. Thus, the chicken will suffer more severe diseases, difficult to be cured, high mortality, and lead to substantial economic losses. In this episode, we will observe two broiler chicken farms with case of infectious bronchitis, or IB, and followed with avian influenza. In this area there are two conventional broiler farm, Farm A and Farm B. Farm A has a larger population, located about 300 meters from the Farm B. Both are conventional poultry farm with open side house system. On Farm A, all chickens suffering from infectious bronchitis, from the age of 7 days, starting from a chicken house, and diseases spreads quickly to the other chicken houses, so that within a week, all the chicken houses on the farm have been infected with the IB virus. In the same time, probably about three days later, Farm B suffered the same case. Both farms suffered respiratory disease cases are quite severe. Case of spreads quickly to all the chicken house. All the chickens suffering from respiratory problems, coughing, sneezing, snoring, and even death. So in this episode, we will be able to observe differences in the pattern of spread of disease or the pattern of mortality due to infectious bronchitis virus and bird flu virus. Even pattern that occurs if the two viruses attack the same chicken. In early case of occurred infectious bronchitis, respiratory symptoms can be observed. But this is a common symptom, some agents of other diseases also have similar symptoms. The pattern of disease spread faster into the primary indications of the disease compared to other diseases. Bronchial lesions and lesions in the kidney can be observed after a few days later. So, when should wait to get these lesions to diagnose a case of IB? This is a late diagnosis. Some serotypes IB virus can cause death due to a lesion in the kidneys. But in broiler chickens, secondary infection by bacteria E. coli resulted in a higher the mortality rate. Chicken deaths can be found in every pen in the chicken house, not concentrated in one pen. On farm B, chicken mortality rate increased, dead chickens found and dispersed in every pen and in any chicken house. If there is a secondary bacterial infection, the mortality will be higher. In the both farm, the mortality rate began to rise a week after infection. Occurs in all the chicken house and all the pen. Mortality rate is not as high as in the case Newcastle disease or avian influenza. This is farm B data, house 5. In the first week, there were cases of aspergillosis. So many chicks, in culling, in the second week, found respiratory symptoms, starting in one pen, and spread quickly to all the pen, and to all the house on the farm. It is infectious bronchitis. There was a slight increase in mortality rate caused by this disease. However, at day 26, there was a high chicken mortality rate in house 5, in pen 1. Chickens died suddenly, and was found concentrated only in pen 1. Until a day later, dead chickens only found in pen 1. At pen 1, in house 5, avian influenza outbreak occurred. The death rate increased significantly, but concentrated only on the first pen. Chickens found dead suddenly, occur in chickens with all sizes of body weight, with no symptoms or only little additional clinical symptoms were observed, because the chicken was previously infected by the virus IB. So the respiratory symptoms are still observed. 
in chickens infected with avian influenza virus. In this case, respiratory symptoms is not due to the avian influenza virus, but the result IB virus, which infects previously. Some additional symptoms were observed as a result of the bird flu virus in dying chickens, showing neurological symptoms, or tremor. It will be the chances of MIS diagnosed with viscerotropic velogenic Newcastle disease because it has the same clinical symptoms, especially respiratory symptoms. As a result of IB, virus was observed clearly, together with high mortality by avian influenza virus. In broilers, high pathogenic avian influenza virus, H5N1 may cause paracute and acute cases. In the case of paracute, chicken deaths occur suddenly without clinical symptoms and without significant pathological lesion also. So, to make a diagnosis in paracute cases, necropsy did not give a quick diagnosis. In this picture, there is a typical pathological lesion to be an indicator of infection of bird flu virus in chickens. Look, there are hemorrhage lesions on the proventriculus. However, to find a chicken with such lesions is quite difficult. We sometimes only get one to two chickens, with the lesions from 100 died chickens. Thus, diagnose avian influenza cases based finding potnemonic pathological lesion is inefficient. Diagnosis will be too late. Cyanosis on the foot can be used for avian influenza pahonomonic symptoms. But these symptoms are uncommon in paracute cases. Necropsis is probably best avoided for the purposes of diagnosis. Because, this work is very risky. Using the rapid test tools is the best way. However, not all farmers have the tools. The pattern of death can be an indicator of this case. The pattern of mortality in cases of avian influenza occurred in chickens that are close together. Virus is only spread by direct contact or on very close distance. So, for two days, death occurs only in pen 1. On the third day, all the chickens in house 5 carried elimination in order to save the other houses. However, seven days later, the infection began to appear in the house 4 and house 3. This is quite different from the case of infectious bronchitis. The disease spread very quickly. This is a common problem occurs in conventional farms. In a chicken flock there is more than one disease, like this farm. Without vaccination program against IB and no vaccination against avian influenza. Thus, both diseases can occur together. Cases of avian influenza have occurred a month earlier. A lot of native chickens and ducks in the outside farm area died suddenly due to this virus. The swallow birds that are in farm area is found died suddenly as well. However, there is a question, why cases of the disease occur in Pen 1 first? Well, the entrance to the House 5 is at Pen 3. I hope this video can be a learning material, field case study material, and is a topic of discussion for veterinary students, lecturer, and an inspiration for researchers. Follow us, subscribe, and wait for the next videos. Thanks.